Hello everybody and welcome to the second part of the review of the Venom X4. There have been some requests about uh, uh, explaining how to connect your Venom U unit to the PC and also about basically some game gameplay because I, di I didn't show any gameplay in, in my last video. So without further ado, uh, let me show you how, 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 uh, how, how this can be done, how I did it. So this is your one here. It's already ready, so the, the, inside the battery. The, the, the unit itself is right here. It's already connected to the PC. It's just a simple video with a just normal USB cable and the, and the mouse is here. But when you're first connecting the unit to the, uh, to the computer, it's not doing anything in particular except recognizing the, playing the usual window sound, so it's actually recognizing the hardware, but it's not doing anything. You need to go to the web, their website and actually uh, download the application here, the Venom uh, setting application, which is just, uh, just uh, uh, six megabyte. So it's just, it's not even an installable program, it's just an executable. So it's just very easy to use. You just click uh, twice on it and it will open up the program here. You will actually have to sele manually select here the PC side here, and it's already. You can see this. It's already the one. It's already configured. Uh, the the actual the the mouse for the moment is not working. It's connected. It's rec recognized by the system, but it's not working. Um, it works if you connect it uh, as, as a standalone, as a, as a normal mouse. But when you actually connect it with your um, with your unit with the control box, you have to actually go here on the setting here and the mouse and the side assign every single button but the, the one important thing you, and I'm going to do now is just updating the, the firmware because this, the, this is just the, the original version right from the factory so uh, uh, this, is, this is now February one month later my uh, video so there's an upgrade to be made as soon as you open up this unity it will tell you that to upgrade so that's exactly what I'm going to do now Uh, when, you, when he's doing this, you don't have to disconnect, of course, the unit itself. It's a very relatively easy process, so once I'm, 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 I've done that, I will show you some gameplay. There you go, the firmware has been upgraded successfully. So now, what you can do is actually, if you want to change the settings here, you can see everything is basically programmable here. And, and the mouse, the most uh, in, interesting thing is about the mouse is that uh, you will have to go down on the on the um, sensitivity of the mouse because when I'm using it on, on the PlayStation 4, it needs to be very sens sensible here, very sensitive because you need uh, just with a um, with a with a simple flick of your wrist, you just with a simple uh, just with a simple flick of your wrist, you have to be able to turn your head when you actually uh, playing shooters. But uh, when you are you planning to use the PC. Uh, the mouse on the PC is very complicated because it will actually be, it will be insanely sensitive so it will actually move too fast there's a problem there's a problem when you're trying to uh, to connect your uh, your unit because my the unit is connected on this USB right here so the box is connected over here as it should be but if you connect the mouse right here in one of the port it will not it will not be recognized so I had a problem I had to uh, insert the mouse in another U uh, PC USB port. So that's gonna be a little disadvantage, not exactly a problem, but for sure a uh, disadvantage. Okay, I'm just messing around a little bit with the settings here. Uh, you don't need to do this if you want to just plug in and play, because when I connect my uh, unit to the PS4, I didn't do, I didn't have to do anything of, of the thing. But just to be precise here, there's also down here the selection for the various uh, Profiles, okay, but this is for Call of Duty, etc., etc., Destiny. So, recent game, even the division. So, I'm just letting here Battlefield 1, and I'm just, I just uh, uh, use this kind of speed because I found it's very useful in um, uh, first person shooters. But then, and there's a panel here on the right side, we can choose the PC version, the mouse, just to uh, select your sensitivity, the firmware which I already upgraded before, and the PS4 here. One thing to notice is that for every single configuration, there's also a layout here, which is actually uh, letting you customize every single uh, every single button we, you, 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 that you can find in your normal uh, PS4 controller. So it's very accurate. It's very useful. 
Yeah. So here's some uh, gameplay for the Mafia 3 game. Uh, just finished the game, so I'm just fooling around here. So this is what to show you actually. Uh, it works very well because the there is no latency here. It's immediately the character is actually responding quite well. You can see everything is working fine. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I mean, the system here is working perfectly. Wow, Ooh, this is cool. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. No problem. Yeah, it's working perfectly. Every single, every single uh, uh, command that you actually giving the input is responding right away. So it's not, it's no problem. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, even the, even the, all the the buttons here. Uh, I didn't have I, I didn't have to do anything because it's already. Uh, configure like like it should be so I didn't do that to remap anything but you can do that as I showed you before with the with the software and, and in your PC but one of the things that you cannot do where you are in this in this situation here is use the uh, the right uh, analog stick here because the axis of the mouse are a, an exact replica of the axis that are here so if I move a little bit the, the stick here or here or here is the same as moving the mouse but the one problem is that it's very very low on the sensitivity you can see I'm moving the mouse right here and it's, it's barely moving and one thing that you cannot do is just moving very fast right when you do like in, in a shooter so it's very useful to be able to do something like this or uh, aiming and everything and you cannot do it's very hard to do this on on the on the PlayStation because of the settings first and because also because the uh, there's a problem inherent in every system like this not because just of the Ven of the venom because for example when you're moving your mouse like the, the right stick like this you can do this i don't know cool effects and whatever or you can move it very rapidly which actually okay cool everybody but you cannot do this with this uh, the mouse because as soon as you move okay it moves but when you stop it it just stops itself so there is no continuity because you can do that with the analog sticks and you of course you can actually move very very fast look at that very fast because that's what you need when you are in a first person in an action uh, a game like this in fact to finish this game i really had a hard time using this one because most of the time i had to do something like this and it was very it's very uh, it's very uncomfortable the rest of the rest of the the rest of the of, of the inputs here are, are perfectly because Everything is responding very well, you see, especially, I don't know, everything, even if you are shooting, you're changing the shoulder, zoom, it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine and everything, but the problem is that when you are, when you are trying to move like this, it's, it's much more easier to use, use the other analog stick. But this is a, a problem which is uh, typical and inherent in every system like this. Because the, even the, 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 the previous models had this problem, even the, the other from the other brands, because uh, this, the, structure, the, structure, uh, of the structure of the mouse is like this. When you stop moving, it will actually stop moving the camera. So that's, that's one of the technical problems that you have. Because it's okay, you can move it, alright, do whatever you want, but it will not give you this discontinuity.